after we get over this ridge, the rest of the way will all be downhill. Yes, we're almost in Forte territory. From this point on, we should be especially careful not to reveal who we are. Hey, guys! What? Well, you caught up with us sooner than I would have expected. I thought that we would at least make it to Forte first. Oh, I'm glad that we made it in time. What do you think you're doing? Why in the world did you follow us? Princess, how could you leave without telling anyone in Baroque Castle? Everyone is really worried about you. We will... Baroque will surrender unconditionally. If I turn myself directly over to Waltz, I'll make him understand that I am serious. You just die in vain. Waltz is not that sympathetic. Maybe not. But if I were to speak with him, I believe he would spare the Prince. Even if I sacrifice my own life in the process. After all the things that I have done, it is the very least I can do to make up for it. And then Waltz will invade, after Baroque is thrown into chaos from the loss of its prince. Anyone can see that's what's gonna happen. Yes, that's right. If you abandon Baroque now, then... What's that? They're already invading? There are so many of them. Damn it. All of you can stand by in the skies overhead. Legato, we're descending. Yes, my lord. Look, they're coming this way! Even if we battled a force of that size, we'd have no chance of defeating them. And after they've killed us, they'll just continue on to invade Baroque. What can we do, Jazz? All we can do is pretend to listen to their demands that may buy us some time. <laughs> it would have been terribly rude of me to make you come all the way to Forte. So I thought I'd come to meet you halfway. Count Waltz, as leader of Baroque, I surrender to you unconditionally. I do not want to make the people of my kingdom suffer under the fear of war any longer. You seem to be a noble prince who cares about his subjects. However, I'm afraid I cannot give you a response without some kind of guarantee. That I am standing here in front of you is proof of my word. I am turning myself over to Forte. And in exchange, I ask that you not harm in any way Serenade or these people here, as well as the citizens of Baroque. Capturing me should satisfy your goals. Count Waltz, hear me. All this time I have kept a close watch to make sure that Baroque made no move. That they never invaded Forte. I carefully monitored everything there to make sure they never took action. 
And I was fully aware that by doing this, I was choosing to give my support to you and to Forte. But even so, through it all, I was following the path that I believed to be right. However, I realized I was mistaken in my actions. It is true that no move has been made to go forward, but by just staying in the same place, none of the problems we face can ever be resolved. I came to realize that one side would need to take a step back in order for things to change. And so you're saying that Baroque has taken a step back? Yes, that is correct. The fact that we are standing here now, at your mercy, is surely proof of that. It requires much more courage to take a step back than it does to take a step forward. Would you not agree? After all, there is no guarantee that there will be ground to stand upon. Please, do not make our courage meaningless. Join hands with Baroque, and let us walk forward together in peace. It should be clear as the light of day to all concerned that continuing with this mutual animosity will benefit absolutely no one in the end. But to us, any threat posed by Baroque is no longer a concern at all. And I have even less interest in Baroque's weakling prince. What we are interested in right now is that girl. So if you turn that girl over to us, I will guarantee the safety of Prince Crescendo and Serenade. And of course, we promise to treat the young lady with the utmost care and civility. Don't think for a minute that I'm gonna fall for that kind of sweet talk again. It is very important to us that this young lady remain in only the best of health. We have no intention of making a prisoner of her. We will make sure she lives the rest of her life in comfort. You see, we all want the same thing. So, what will you do? It's okay. Don't worry about me. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I made a decision when I left Tenuto. I wanted to spend the remainder of my life doing things that help people. That's the whole point of my journey. What a good girl you are. I wish there were more like you. No, Polka, don't do it! Don't go with them! Damn it! Calm down, young man. Try to refrain from doing anything foolish. Or do you intend to just throw away this historic peace that has finally been achieved? Please step right this way.
Well? It's confirmed, my lord. Hey! What's with that light? It is just as you surmised. <gasps> Legato, take the girl and get out of here. But do be careful with her. <laughs> Polka! <sighs> well now, I have no real use for any of these others, so I'll just play with you for a little amusement! <laughs> Catching on. 
on yet. Fly off, fly off, fly far, far away! Grand slam! That worked great! It's the will of the people. Orate Dominium! Looks like the old guy's the only one left. Uh, oh well. Uh, I suppose I have no other choice. Is everyone okay? Huh? What's that hole? Did, did that old guy open up this hole somehow? 